Um, you, you brought up Lonzo uh, a little while ago. How big is it that uh, Leangelo was signed by the Pistons and now all three of the Ball brothers are in the NBA right now? I think it's great. I think it's great for basketball. The NBA is all about storylines. You know, the NBA, I've, t- I've said to people for a few years now, is the new WWE. Um, they are legitimately, um, as much as it's about basketball, it's about people on the mic and people speaking their mind and the sound bites. And so, you know, I, I look at it in that way. I think, you know, um, people have said that they're the Kardashians of the NBA. I, I would say if we're keeping it WWE, they are the McMahons of the NBA minus the ownership of the brand of the NBA, but they own their own brand and they did it by selling controversy boys and being entrepreneurs and taking, taking onus of their brand. So I think it's great money wise. I think it's great storyline, but you also got to remember the Leangelo ball contract is not a guaranteed contract. Um, And I, I, I joke when I say this, but maybe that was the contract that Jay Cole should have took with the Pistons. Um, and you know, Leangelo got it instead. Maybe, but you know, he didn't want to. He didn't want to go to a losing uh, situation, I guess. So he left it, let it uh, go for Leangelo. Let me tell you guys something. I'm annoyed though, because have you guys seen the sneakers that the the the, the uh, J Cole sneakers that dropped on Friday? Almost, almost. He got a new. He got a new pair that just dropped. Already, look at you know, that. Light flex. Every time, no, yeah. school, every time you come on the show, you can't be flexing like this, okay? <laughs> you guys, listen. He, he definitely got some joints. Yeah, he and and I will say this: his sneakers is better than several NBA players. Oh, that's a fact. Uh, <laughs> that I'm not even going. I'm not even going to do it to them and say all the names of the cats that got wax sneakers because we we had a show dedicated to that. So I'm gonna. <laughs> For the day, but there's a couple of cats, a couple of superstars out there that got some horrible looking sneakers. So we gonna we go we gonna let them rock for for this uh, for this one. Oh, no, fuck us. This is African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You watch the real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son.